Hi guys, um, it's just a quick video update. I uh, just want to apologise for not doing any videos for some time now. Um, some of you know I'm a full-time carer for a disabled parent and uh, it's been a bit uh, rough over the last few years but since November last year we got into dementia territory on top of everything else so I was trying to look after somebody who can't walk is bed bound and now she can't remember why she's bed bound so you have to tell her why she can't walk sometimes a dozen time a d times a day so um, anyway enough of that but um, that's why I've not been doing any more video uh, videos of, uh, of model builds um, and I'd just like to take this chance actually to say if anyone out there is trying to deal looking for looking after somebody with dementia then what's left of my heart goes out to you because I have never known anything quite like it in all my life um, we've been through a lot um, she's had new knees both both knees replaced both hips replaced four breaks of her arms because she's got osteoporosis just just the weight of trying to stand up is enough to break bones but then you throw dementia in on top uh, so Christmas Day she didn't know who I was for example um, so anyone who's dealing with dementia God, people need to know more about it and what it does to people because it is just so so heartbreaking anyway uh, moving on um, I haven't done much modeling obviously because of all of that I've had so much going on it's been kind of horrific so um, but what I was working on last was the Borg cube um, and I've just got to a point where I couldn't really handle any of this for the last few months but um, since November but uh, I'm, I'm trying to get a little bit more done so I've picked up the cube today I've uh, glued the LED strips in place um, the resin, the paint doesn't stick very well to resin, so if you use the, the if you use these LED strips um, after a, a week or two, they just they just pull off under their own weight. So uh, basically, there's um, I've, I've hot glued them in place as well, um, and I've thread a threaded a main power lead down through the aluminium tube, uh, which is obviously going to just uh, go off into the to the base. Um, done a little bit more holes wise, sorry about that noise, it's the washing machine in the background, let me try and silence it by closing the door, um, so yeah, so here's our cube at the moment, you can just see little hints of the green showing through as, it's, as it rotates, don't want to make it too, I'm probably going to add a few more actually, I think it needs a few more groups of light in there, uh, there are some underneath, but I don't know if you can see from the camera, from the angle there, um, but uh, just gives you an idea how it's coming on. Right, I've just turned the big overhead light off so uh, we can see a little bit better. You should see a little bit of what's going on here. So you've got there's a little bit of light shining off of it there, but uh, you get the idea. Now one problem I've got is the fit of the last panel uh, should really have made a proper jig when I glued this all together because there is a fit problem now it's going to need a little bit of um, jiggery pokery to use a technical expression to make this fit um, basically what I have is around that side it's not too bad but one side I think it's around there we have quite a big gap to fill so what I'm going to do it won't be quite that bad it's just sitting at a funny angle at the moment but what I'll do is uh, I'm just gonna there'll be a big thick bead of epoxy glue in there um, and then I'm just gonna fill that and I'm just gonna add where the gap is too wide because uh, at least there's a good few mil gap there uh, I'm gonna cut out some small little pieces of styrene and do a little bit of a kit bash just to get some nice little shapes and things I'm just going to basically disguise that as much as possible uh, that's the worst fit on the whole on the whole model uh, basically one side uh, stuck just a little bit lower than it should have done and uh, and there you, actually you can see it there this panel here is a couple of mil lower than that one and that's enough to cause this gap so 
doesn't look so good at the moment but uh, I think I can basically glue it, fill it, get that to fit a bit better and then I'll just put some little bits and pieces just to disguise uh, you'll, you'll see obviously a, a smooth seam there of um, filler or glue so I'll uh, I'll do a bit of kit, kit bashing, get some little bits and pieces and cut some styrene, styrene shapes out to fill that but uh, once that's done we'll be nearly there, we just need a base for it then really Uh, actually, while I think of it, I'm just going to show you another model. Now, this is not one of my builds. This is actually, it was made by a guy called, I think he called himself Often Wrong Sung. Uh, and it was an eBay. It's the Battlestar Galactica. He's made a really, really nice base for it. Uh, and it's all lit up. I don't know if you can see in there. Probably not. With the focus. Anyway, I'll spin it around. He's done a very, very good job. I actually bought this. But he's done a nice job on the windows, the paintwork, the uh, the lighting underneath the hangar bays is very well done because he's done a very subtle job. He's not made it too too um, too bright, too powerful. Engines nice and powerful, and you can actually see right up into the hangar bays. He's just done a really, really nice job. I'm going to throw a bit more light on that for you, actually. There we go. The stand's quite clever as well. Now this I was very, very impressed with. Watch this. Turn it off. If you want to remove it from the stand, it's on a little... Flip it upside down. That's the connector. So, well done, that man. Oops, sorry, probably making you feel seasick. Uh, yeah, that's the connector, and that simply fits in there like so. Switch it on, plug it in, and it works. And you can spin it 360 degrees because of course it's just a three and a half mil phono jack. And you can just keep spinning it as much as you like. So uh, yeah, terrific idea. Basically there's a there's a nine volt battery up in there. He's hollowed it out, put a little removable floor on it, switch there, and uh, and that's basically it. Very, very neat job, and often wrong song the, uh, the guy's name is. Um, I don't know if you can see inside the hangar deck there. See a bit of the, yeah, you can see a bit of, bit of the runway there. And uh, those nice red spots. Uh, I like them because they're not too overpowering. It's a very, very good job he's done. So, a little shout out to him. Oops. And what he's actually done is he's got a, he's mounted an LED up in each of these, which is what's supplying the light in the hangar bays, which is very nicely done. And uh, we've got the photo etch parts there on that side. A bit twinkly. But you can see almost as if you're going to go right through. Very nicely done. And he's done a nice paint job on it as well. Nice bit of weathering. I've actually got another kit for this which I was going to build up myself. And uh, I might either do a sister ship to the Galactica or I could just do the Galactica because uh, this is how, how she looked pretty much at the beginning of the series. But uh, maybe do one near the end when it was a bit more battle damaged. So 
So there, um, what's this is all the others, these others are my work. Uh, I will show you this one actually. This was done by a guy, I bought this one off of eBay as well uh, because I really liked the way he painted it. This was all dry brushed and he managed to get a really nice kind of dirty, dirty look on this. I uh, love the way he's done the engines. Actually, I'll take him off the stand. Alright, sorry about that. I had to rescue him. He was about to fall off the uh, off the actual uh, step, I think it's called. But uh, I just thought I'd show you this. I do like this dry brushing technique that he's done. Very good around the engines. Quite a nice effect on the battle droid himself. Really brings out all the little the lines and the little rivets and bits of detail everywhere. And that's just dry brushing. So uh, very nice job. Now this guy's name, uh, I think it was Mark, I think he calls himself the Karaoke King. But um, it's very, very good work. Anyway, that's it for now. Um, I'm going to carry on with the ball cube and uh, I'll uh, give you some more updates as soon as I can.